Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Saturday. Another gift in life. Um, I had to have breakfast delivered because I can barely walk. I am. Um, I uploaded a video and I was very winded, but I was kind of letting you have a little bit of insight on a day in a life of me, just waking up in the morning and what I deal with. And this morning has been excruciating pain on my right side, all on my right side. And it's, it's extremely ironic after talking about having a stroke in the hospital, what it felt like. Um, this does not feel like that. It's just like, like it started, I had a, I had pain in my wrist. I had it and it's still in my back. It's not going away. Um, and it's, it's, it's sizable, the amount of pain. I, I, I cannot, like, as soon as the heating pack turns off, I turn it right back on. I cannot have it off. It's that debilitating. Um, I keep having, I, I had pain, on, did I, I did have some pain here on the left side, but I keep having it more on the right side. Um, and, and it keeps moving. Like, it started in my wrist, and then it moved up here, and then it was up in here. I mean, it's... So I just keep trying to push, put pressure and heat on it. I'm going to get, no matter what, I'm going to figure out how I can get into the hot tub today. Even if I have to have somebody, in addition to Hannah, get me down there. Because I think that's going to help my back. Um, it's going to take some of the... It's, uh, something's got to give. Um, my THC has not kicked in at all. So I'm just... <laughs> It's, it's a little rough today. <laughs> so, um, oops, I keep turning to June 19th, so I'm going to read that. There's a reason for it. When we, give our, when we give our all to God, he makes all things beautiful. And he does that, doesn't he? So, Saturday, July 16th, I just flipped it over. Every path he guides us on is fragrant with his loving kindness. Psalm 25, verse 10. Wasn't that beautiful? So, um, since today's a gift, welcome. You had a, you have a bonus day as well. And I'm going to read out of, of course, 365 gifts. You don't need these to read. It's entitled Wind Chimes. 13, 14. No, I did that one yesterday. It's number 197 flight. I'm like, I read this one already. If it takes the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Amen. Psalm 139 verse 9 and 10. You can be in New York in three hours. Los Angeles about the same. No matter where you're traveling, you can get there in just a few hours' time, and all because of air travel. It's hard to imagine what life was like for travelers 100 years ago. If someone wanted to leave Kansas and drive to California, the journey would take days, well, like the Amish, even when, you know, I mean, horse and buggy. Now a couple of hours will suffice. The ability to fly back and forth from place to place is a gift. Amen. One, we often take for granted. Missionaries fly to the foreign mission fields. That was one of my goals. Business is one of my goals. I shouldn't say was. It is, still is one of my goals to do a missionary trip, actually, with my brother Mark. Businessmen make a day trip for the, for the company. Children fly to see parents in other states and vice versa. The ease and comfort of air travel makes all things possible, all this possible. What a miracle of convenience flight is. How grateful we are to live in a day and age where this is possible. Father, sometimes I forget to be mesmerized by things like air travel. It seems so commonplace to me, but it's a miracle. I can get from here to there in no time, thanks to this modern marvel. Thank you for giving us the gift of flight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little devotion. 
Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. I've got all bunches and bunches. Bye.